Hello and welcome to our new training video. Have you ever seen this or that character in some of your LaSalle Class 2 applications and you do not know what they mean? Then you are just right for this video. We would appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel and please give the video a thumbs up if you like it. The most important question is, what is a pointer? A pointer refers to data. However, the data itself is not stored in the pointer, but the memory address where the data is located. The pointer always points to the first byte of the data. You can compare it to a Windows shortcut on the desktop. The shortcut simply points to the program, whereas the program itself is stored in the C program files directory. A pointer works similar to this. To declare a pointer variable, the caret symbol is used. Variable name could be PTR, and to declare this one as a pointer of double integer, you use caret double integer. The address of a variable is determined using the address operator hashtag. To set the PTR variable on the address of data A, you use the hashtag in front of data 1. Using the caret character, the contents of a pointer are addressed. The content of the PTR variable is given to data2 variable by using the caret symbol. This shows the memory for the CPU. In this example, I want to show you how to copy data from one variable to another by using pointer. You got one variable A with the value 123. A has a certain address on the CPU's memory. And in this address, the value 123 is stored. Then we got the PTR variable, which is set to the address of A. The PTR variable itself has a memory address, and in this memory address, the address of A is stored. After this, I want to get the content of the pointer variable and store this value in B. Also B got a memory address. And with the caret, it references to the address of A and takes the value 123 and stores it in B. I want to show you this example in LaSalle class 2. I already created a network and an object of the class use pointer with a background task. Next step is to set up all the variables. At first, create variable A with data type double integer. Then create variable PTR. For this one, you set pointer to true of data type double integer. Last variable is B, also from data type double integer. Open up the code editor of the class and do the example programming. If you got that, download it and go to the disk window in the debugger pane. There, you will see variable A, which is stored in an address. The pointer variable points to the address of A. If you open the pointer variable with the plus symbol, you see the content in the address. And B is also 123. Copy the address which is stored in the pointer and go to Tools, Advanced Debug Tools, Memory Dump. In the Memory Dump, you can analyze the addresses. Paste the address for the start address and put size to 4. This will show the variable A with its content. If you hover over the first byte, you get detailed information. There you will see that in the first byte, the 123 is stored. If you go back to the disk window and do a right click for variable A and choose open memory dump, you can open the variable's memory address directly in the memory dump. You will see the same result as before. But if you put size to 12, you will see variable A, the pointer variable where the address of A is stored in all four bytes, and you also see variable B.